Hello together. In today's video, I show you how to add roles to users automatically with ABAP. In a first step, I use a Bobby, which adds roles to SAP users. However, the Bobby ignores existing roles and deletes them. So that this doesn't happen, in a second step, I use a function module to read existing roles in advance and then to transfer them. So today I have two windows here. On the left side, my code, my program. On the right side, my test user, where we add some roles today. So let's start with the declaration of some variables. First, I need the variable for my username. So I write here lvuname, type cuname. Next, I need an internal table uh, for my roles. So I call it lt roles. And this is of type table of Bobby. AGR. Next, I need a work area. WA roles type Bobby AGR. And a return table. Because the Bobby return returns some values that I want to display them. So I call it LT red type table of Bobby red two. So uh, we check the current roles in the second step. Next, we uh, pick a user. LV uname is the name of my test user. It's called dev user today. So I copy here my test user. Next, I pick a role. And for this, I need the work area. I write here WA roles and then AGR name. Oh, it's underscore name. And here we write the name of our role. Today I use the role ZBR employee. And then I append this work area to my internal table. So I write here append WA roles to LT roles. And now we call the Bobby. And for this, we click on the button pattern. And here we write Bobby user activity groups assign. And here we pass the username, the variable, LVU name, then the activity groups. Here we type our intern table, LT roles, and the return table, LT red. And next, I want to display the return value. And for this, I check if the return table LT red is not initial. And then I write CL demo output display LT red. Else, 
uh, right here, CL demo output. Display. And I write here roles. Or I write here uh, no um, message. And and if. But I think the return table is already filled. It's always filled. But let's check the code, activate. Now let's run the code and we see here a message. Role assignment to user, def user changed. So that means a role is added or deleted, but in our case added. So change here from display to edit. And we see here the employee role is added to my test user. So, because this puppy deletes existing roles, we have to check these existing roles before. And I show you now what I mean. So let's add another role, the manager role. And I delete the employee role. Now I save the assignment. And now the dev user has only one role, the manager role. And, and if we run the program again, then we have already the, man the message. But if I change now, I see the manager role is uh, deleted and uh, only the employee role is added. So we have to to extend our program. So let's add the manager role again and let's delete the employee role again and we save this. And now let's extend our program and we want to check the existing roles of the users. We want to read the existing roles of the users and for this I use another function module and this is SUSR user AGR activity GR get and here we pass the username Is we delete this line user activity groups uh, for this we need another internal table so let's declare another internal table I call it LT current roles type table of Bobby AGR so and this internal table I copy we, I, I copy and paste it here. Then we uncomment the exceptions. And so next we append the rows in my internal table LT current rows to my to the other internal table LT rows. So let's copy this internal table and we append the lines of this table to LT roles. Ready brand, activate the code. And let's run the code again. We see here the message role assignment to user def user changed. And if we check the roles here, we see the the manager role is not deleted but the employee role is added. Yes. So with, uh, with this, you can search for a group of users and check the, the roles and you can add some roles. So um, that's the basic functionality now. The program itself can of course be extended by checking users and assigning them one or more roles provided the 
a missions match. Yes, that was it already. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. I would also be very happy about the channel subscription. Write me something in the comments, I'm always happy to read them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.